So we're going to talk about serial dilutions and their use when we want to dilute the stock concentration um, more than we're comfortable doing in a single step. So we're going to take our same problem, in this case, a 100 millimolar stock solution, and we're going to dilute that to 1 millimolar working solution. Now, we can figure this out in a myriad of ways, but we know that the dilution factor here is equal to 100. And if you don't know how I got that, you should review how to get dilution factor. But what this means is that we are going to take the 100 millimolar stock and dilute it to a 1 millimolar working solution in more than one step. We're going to do a serial tenfold dilution. Alright, this is how it works. We're going to start with our stock tube that has 100 millimolar solution of stock. Now, if I want to make, and we know how to make, 10 millimolar, we simply add 1 mil of stock and 9 mils of water. And what you end up with is a 10 millimolar solution. But that's not what we want. What we really like is one millimolar. So here, I can do this by taking the 10 millimolar solution and diluting it 1 to 10 in exactly the same way that I diluted the stock solution 1 to 10 by taking one milliliter of two to the 10 millimolar solution and 9 millimeters, millimeters, milliliters of water. And in this case, because we've taken a 1 to 10 dilution from stock to tube 2 and a 1 to 10 dilution from tube 2 to in this case tube 3, if you multiply those two things together you'll realize that we've done a 1 to 100 dilution which is what we needed because our dilution factor was 100.